And another little bit of information for you guys. So with the app challenge, um, I know a lot of you are still catching up, trying to join and get your activity done. If you feel like, oh, we're halfway through, I've missed it, I'm not gonna do it, fear not because I have the answer for you. You can backdate your workouts, you can add them in from the times like the start of the first two weeks of this challenge. You can add them in and they will get added to your challenge. So if you start today and it says that you've got nothing done and you know that in the last two weeks you've done about five hours worth of activity, curves workouts, running, jogging, swimming, whatever, you can add them. So just to show you how to do that, what you're going to do when you add your workouts, whether it's the curves workouts or the extra activity, I'll just click the extra activity for today. So obviously we're doing that through walking. You're just going to click onto it. Let me just go close the blinds. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Less reflection now. So yeah, you're just going to click it. You're going to tap onto the walking, add your time. So I'm just going to add 10 minutes just because it's there. Click done. And then what you're going to do, you're going to click complete workout. Now, before you click the save, right here, it should have the date. So you're just going to tap onto that. If I can do this, this is hard to do. Click the little pencil icon, and then you're just going to change the date. You're just going to change it. So let's say I did one Tuesday. It doesn't matter about the time, guys. It doesn't matter what time of the day you did it. Just change it to the day. You're going to click Save, and then you're going to click Save Workout, and that will add the workout from the day you've done it. It will backdate it and it will go onto the app challenge. I did test this and it does work. I will take that off, don't worry guys, I'm not gonna cheat. Um, you can add them in. Now, if you were a trackable um, and you haven't started the challenge, I'm gonna be quite clear here. So obviously you would have been getting your points for the other leaderboard, just the general generic leaderboard, this one, you would have already got your points for that for the workouts that you've done at the start of the month. But obviously they will, they won't get transferred to the challenge. Even though it's on the app, it won't update it for the challenge. Not that I've experienced anyway or noticed. So for that, what you might want to do is just backdate it. I mean, it's going to give you lots of points here, but don't worry about, about that for now. We are just focusing on the challenge on the app. Um, just backdate them still, just so you can get your time for the challenge and go from there. But if you do set up the app and you notice that it does sync across, do let me know. Um, as I say, I'm not sure about that. But yeah, I hope that clears some extra bits up. So don't worry if you've not started, still got a chance to catch up. All is good, you can backdate things. If you need help with backdating, just let me know. It can be a lengthy process, but it's worth it to get you on that leaderboard. Okay, thanks guys, bye.